you had um, put me onto this Coyle Ray tr- uh, clip. Oh yeah. With her talking about TikTok, I want to see what you guys think about that. So we'll play it, and then yeah, of course the comment. So let's watch it real time. And EJ can edit this. Everybody tried to shit on me and was like, oh, you're a TikTok artist and all this other stuff. And I was like, man, listen, literally, yeah, I know y'all right. Hmm. Listen, I'm a, all right. Hmm. 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 You knew something Whoa. different. He was like, okay. I didn't give a fuck. Huh. Once I knew that the TikTok drove streams, I'm about my money and I'm mm. about strategy. Mm. I don't have no time to have pride and ego on people that's gonna be like, oh, you're a TikTok artist, it's that and third. Cool, if you don't appreciate the music and you hating because you can't do it the way I did, mm. then that's cool. Mm. But check the numbers out. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. Hey, man. Like, first of all, she coming with a different energy than what I'm used to seeing yeah. here. Uh, that, I she tired like, of the internet bullying, bro. Like, I like that. Energy. She gonna level it up. I like that energy right there. That's. Okay, that's that's beautiful. So it, it's a a lot of things about that. Like, yeah. so many artists talk about like I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that, and half the times it's fear, ego, or laziness. Yeah, that's what I see in yeah. most cases. Where it's like, all right, if you really want this, if you hate your job, you hate your existence at whatever profession and what you're doing for work today. Come on, we talk about people selling their souls yeah. <laughs> to be successful. Yeah. And when they talk about doing anything that's necessary, we talk about people sleeping with people. We talk about all this crazy shit. Bro, if it just means you got to create some TikTok videos yeah. or because and this is a conversation. Remember, before TikTok, we were having these conversations. With artists. I don't want to post on Instagram. Yeah. I'm not a, you know what I mean? The I'm type of SoundCloud person. Artist. Yeah, I'm not yeah, a SoundCloud. Not a it's like do what you need to get in the door. Right. Especially when it's something like this. It's just your behavior. It's not yeah. even like legit like doing something grimy or against your ethics. And then when you get control of the situation, then you can manipulate more how you brand yourself, the actions you take, but you need to get a fan base for cheap as possible, unless you just want to have somebody put money into you super early and then they own you. So you want to get owned or do you want to do the work to get on, but own yourself, right? Yeah. That's yeah. what it comes down to me. Yeah, I mean, I, li- I like more so the fact that it, it, we see like these platform slurs come up like you said, like every, every, that's basically yeah. what they are, but oh, you're yeah. just a, oh, you, yeah. it was, you know, 2016, oh, you're just a SoundCloud rapper. Yeah. Right. And it's like, oh, you're just a YouTuber. Oh, you're just a, you're just a TikTok artist. Right. And she said something in it that was like very important to me, but she was like, bro, this shit just draw, this shit draw strings, bro. I don't, care. I don't care what you said. Like, I can see that a result is lead, leading to, to, well, a effort is leading to B result. And, mm. I I think the clip shows a lot of growth for her because to your point when you're saying like she she's bringing different energy, I feel like she's talked to somebody or come to the realization that like yo like I'm in a unique position, bro. Like everybody doesn't get. I mean, she's had like two three viral TikTok hits, bro. Most people ain't even gonna get one. You know what I'm saying? Let alone like two or three. Yeah. Especially the artists of like her stature, we might see like bigger artists get multiple TikTok hits back to back. But a, a new act, but she's only been in the game for like a year and a half, two years at this point, something yeah. like that, you know, seriously. So I feel like she's had the realization, like, yo, I'm in a very unique position where, like you said, I could post a video on TikTok, post five of them, and my shit goes crazy to the same degree that someone that maybe spent $100,000 could go to. Thanks. And, and, and I, I don't know, it, it looks like a lot of maturity, a maturing happening, you know what I'm saying? Or somebody broke it down for her numbers, like, hey, man, this shit equals this and money look at Period. what you say right? Period. <laughs> you know? and that's the game and that's the game and that goes always back where i say what i do like about street artists that a lot of the more creative non-street or suburban artists or uh, other genres don't quite get yeah like the street artists put in the work all right they understand business yeah a little bit more maybe because it's the hustle background yeah but it's like what's going towards the result i don't care too much about the opinion of people what's talking and conversations on the internet i ain't into that like yeah. little baby say you know it's just like i want the result period yeah and a lot of times other genres tend to they can they over concern themselves with, with other people's opinions when i don't know maybe you have Maybe it's like a real life thing, bro. If I'm on the streets and I'm hustling and I'm used to, and I'm in some life, you know, threatening circumstances, and I might need to get off the block. Or I'm in, I'm trying to figure out a way to get off the block. I don't got time to think about all the other stuff. Yeah. But you're in a position of comfort. 
you want to get on in the exact way that you want to get on. It's more of an entitled mentality. Yeah. Which is cool yeah. if you can make it happen that way, but cutting off all your options, like, it's, yeah. just, it's just like, bro, it's, it's, this, is a hard, this game is hard enough as it is, especially when you talk about the money part. Yeah, and I think, too, a lot of it comes from, like, you're taking feedback and criticism from people that don't get it. But I actually have a, a really funny story that kind of talks about this. <laughs> it's, I, I think it's funny. It's sad, but it's kind of funny. But okay. I was in, like, middle school, right? Uh-huh. When I was in middle school, I used to want to play soccer. Oh, man, right? I can't even see it. Yeah, I, right, crazy. <laughs> but middle school was when we moved from, like, the country to, like, the hood. So right. it was, I, I always remember this one day I had a game and I came outside in my uniform and this dude was like, bro, what the fuck you got on? I was like, it's a soccer uniform. He's like, bro, you playing soccer? Nigga, get on this basketball shit. And they <laughs> were bullying me about it, you know what I'm saying, about yeah. not playing basketball. Until eventually I gave up and I stopped playing soccer. Yeah. I started going to play basketball with the hood kids. You grow up, you know what I'm saying? You get more into soccer, but you start seeing soccer players go pro at like 12. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they be making millions of dollars by the time they 16. They retire at what, like 27, right. 20. I was ever. just listening to something the other day. Uh, <laughs> is it Lionel Messi? I think it's Lionel Messi. Yeah. He has a four year, $600 million contract, bro. Yeah. Four year, $600 million. That's That's crazy far beyond that's bigger than baseball and uh basketball it's crazy bro so, so it's like i learned no stuff like that now and i look back on anything like damn bro like what would have happened if i kept playing soccer because i was like 11 10 or 11 you know what i'm saying so but that yeah. goes back to what i was saying about the call everything like you out taking in feedback and criticism from people that, that don't get it like them, them niggas didn't know like you said the messy shit they didn't fucking know you know what i'm yeah. saying where soccer players could go and how fast it could happen if I maybe talk to somebody that plays soccer, they're probably going, like, nah, bro, you tripping, bro. Like, stick this shit out. You know <laughs> right. what I'm saying? Like, keep doing this shit. Right. So that's why I say I feel like she had a conversation with somebody or somebody broke some numbers down to her or something clicked for her to maybe see it as like, yo, like, I'm I'm lucky, bro. Like, I'm one of the lucky few people that get this degree of a TikTok moment. We see it come and go, right? The people like to joke about the fact that, like, a lot of them come and then they fall off, but it's like, a lot of people don't even get the opportunity to fall off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They don't even yeah. get the chance to fall off. You got to be in the game to fall off. All right. And so I personally like the energy she's coming with. Because it, it, to me, I feel like it's going to make her take the platform more seriously right, moving in the future. And that's just going to strengthen the hold she has, bro. Especially with the age of the TikTok fans, bro. Like, they're going to – people joke about them not coming to shows and shit with her. But it was like – yeah, most of her fans, because of TikTok, probably are young. They're probably 13, 14, 15. They ain't got money like that. You know what I'm saying? But all it is, yeah. Unless she quits in the next three to five years, bro, she's going to be good, bro. Like, as soon as yeah. they, they get the bread and they like, oh, I I remember her from the TikTok days and she's still going. You know, maybe by then she dropped, like, more music that people like. She gets a catalog, right? Like, she's going to be crazy, bro. It's going to be it's gonna be yeah. stupid. So, yeah, bro. I don't know. Somebody tell Cole, right? We said, keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> keep up the good work. <laughs> Don't let them talk you off your pedestal, bro. Hey, no, nah, that <laughs> <laughs> no, that that's that's real though, man. Like you really got to control who you listen to for yeah. all this stuff and the ego stuff. Like dead that in this in this era, bro. Like do what you gotta do to get on. Just don't do anything too wild where you know you just you just out of out of pocket. What's uh? I can't remember his name now. Bam, boom, a uh, bunk, bunk. There yeah. we go. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's <laughs> that was just. <laughs> That was so far out of pocket. <laughs> they all messed that up. And, like, and the music didn't really back it up. His music was doing way better than it should have been doing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's how much of a you know attention grabber he was. But imagine he actually had some good music. He probably would have made. Yeah, it would have been crazy, I mean? bro. Because yeah. attention is the hardest part of the game. Literally. Like getting attention is like, I don't know, I feel like making quality to good music is easier than it's ever been. You know what I'm saying? Facts. I mean, even I guess the process of get, actually, I'll say this: the process of getting attention is actually pretty easy too. If you if you if you know, you know enough, what you're doing, hell yeah, yeah, it's easy. It's retaining the attention that's the hard part, you know, mm. like because it's like everybody has so many different things that they could be paying attention to, to to instead of you. So it's like now you have to consistently prove to people why they should be paying attention to you, right? So really, really, really interesting hamster wheel you get on. You know what I'm saying? As a yeah. <laughs> as an artist or, or right. a creator of any type, but it's just like these platforms give you the vehicle to be able to access all these people if you choose to crack it correctly. What you choose to do with it after that point is up to you, you know what I'm saying? Some people are gonna use it and drop the bag, some people are gonna use it to pop themselves off into, I don't know, the next 
massive artists, but it's like the end of the day, bro, it's just a this is a, just a hub of people. That's it. How are you gonna what are you gonna do with these people? You know what I'm saying? That's it. And with that TikTok conversation in mind, we gotta play that uh Steve Lacey clip. Oh yeah. Which was bruh oh man. I thought this was so amazing in the wrong ways. <laughs>